Twenty-four percent say uh, we should go with a RAID 5. Again, my concern with that, so the downside of that, would be that we'd have to buy all new drives or mm. go with the lowest capacity of the drives. Mm. RAID 5 requires three drives, and it's, it's more redundant. It's safer to use four drives or more. Uh, so in that case, we have enough drives here. We've got four drives that we're going to start with. But uh, with RAID 5, again, it's going to match to the lowest capacity drive. So that 160 gig drive that I have there is going to completely offset the array uh, from the 400 gigabyte drives. So those mm -hmm. 400 gigabyte drives are not going to be utilized. They'll be redundant, but I won't get the space. 21%. Um, so next up in third place is Unraid, currently with five drives in a cage. So this is the cage unit that we were looking at last week. And 21% say that might be the best way to go. Five drives, throw them into an Unraid array. It's going to cost us $120 for the uh, for the uh, software, the cage will cost us another 150. So you're looking at 270 dollars for the entire device, which is well below what a Drobo would cost, and would do practically the same thing. Unraid, as you know from last week, is something that allows us through software uh, architecture to be able to build something that works very much like a Drobo. Um, Angel D says, uh, hey Robbie, following your last show suggestion, I was able to create an Unraid server running three drives that hold their tech software and data in our school. So already you've taken our series and decided to start with an Unraid. What do you, what do you think of that so far? Mm -hmm. It says it's awesome. Mm -hmm. So you're pretty happy with that as a... Now, because you're only using three drives, was that Angel that said yes. that? Yes. Angel, because you're using three drives, here's the advantage. You were able to download the free version of Unraid. What a great opportunity for you to be able to test it out and see, mm -hmm. if, it's, if, see if it's what you're looking for. And let you know. And let me know. <laughs> let the community know. Is mm -hmm. that what we should be voting for? Is that what we should be leaning towards? <clears throat> Unraid, uh, John Roberts says, sounds like an open source Drobo and mm. likes that. I wish that it was open source because then I could just do it absolutely free. But mm. they've been smart in their marketing. They know that they've got a product with Unraid that is what a lot of people, like myself, are looking for. I'm not sure what ZFS is going to do to it if, if it becomes stable in free NAS because then a lot of the functionality goes, goes that route. But I definitely think for the price, it looks like a, an exceptional product. Angel, what, what have you thought about it so far? You, you think, mentioning that I'm right about that. Um, so you've installed it with three drives. You're happy with it. It's been working well uh, as far as the interface goes. Where would you say it is uh, from a user standpoint? For the viewers who are not quite as technically savvy, what would, would this be a usable product for them? Is this something that could be used as a, a, data, a redundant data storage device for Christy? <laughs> Angel's only been using it for a week. Yeah. So. And it's been running consistent. Love it. Okay, this is good. This is good. <coughs> so yeah, any uh, any more information? That, yeah, says so far so good. Yeah. Angel says good. Um, so let us know, Angel D. Uh, if you learn anything more, let us know in the chat room or drop me an email, and I'll be happy to feature it on the show. Mm -hmm. Definitely interested in knowing uh, what you what you have to say. Uh, the next up uh, in our in our poll was the raid one with 5% of our, our viewers voting for that. RAID 1 is a mirror, so that means that each drive has, and it's typically two drives. You've got one drive, two drives, they both have exactly the same content. But again, the disadvantage to that is that the drives either have to match in capacity, or if they don't match in capacity, you lose the higher-end capacity drive. As far as, again, if I've got a 160 gig and a 400 gig drive, the 400 gig drive will only give me 160 gigs. Mm. So it's redundant, it's nice that way, but it doesn't allow us much room to expand. If we wanted to expand that type of an array, we would have to swap out both hard drives. Same with the RAID 5. If we wanted to grow that array, uh, no, RAID 5, I think actually we can grow. It's just a little complex to do that because you'd have to rebuild. Uh, but the RAID 1, you'd have to replace both drives in the array. Mm. Next up was the Drobo with the Drobo share with 3% of our votes. Uh, and because there's 3% of votes, I mean, we've got to look at it, but I think that the cost of that is just way too high for what we're looking to do and for what a lot of our viewers would be looking to do with redundant data storage. 
I should mention, too, after last week's show that I did go to the website and I looked at the Drobo Pro again because some, one of our viewers had mentioned that they thought that it had ESATA. So because of that, I thought, oh, well, if it has ESATA, that's a horse of a different color. I might be more interested in that product. But I did look at it, and it, in fact, does not. It has iSCSI, FireWire 800 and USB 2.0, but no ESATA. So Drobo still is lacking that crucial port for... Uh, for an external device. Hmm. So once again, pulling us towards uh, using an internal device. So then we look at the cost of the Drobo, which is five, six hundred dollars, and then the Drobo share another two or three hundred dollars, and we al already realize that if we can build an Unraid that holds one extra drive, plus whatever drives we can fit inside the computer chassis beyond the actual bays, so a lot cheaper, fit more drives. Drobo only holds four with the model that I'm saying there. So if it does the same thing, if it's able to do what we need it to do, why blow the money on the Drobo? That's mm. my thought. 3% say Open Filer, 3% say ZFS RAID Z, uh, Drobo 2% without the Drobo share, and Unraid with three drives internal, so omitting that $150 fee of having to buy the, uh, the rack and the $120 fee for having to buy the software, so this would be an absolutely free alternative because we have a computer in stock and we've got the drives. Mm. So that would cost us nothing. Might be a good starting place too and then we could always you know, start where Angel D is starting and then upgrade, add more drives down the road. Now Angel was uh, just adding on, so far I have access to all our data from the Unraid server from anywhere in our school very reliably. Mm. Well Unraid's got everything. Mm. I mean it's just great how it shares everything out. DL Marty says uh, RAID 5 with 3 drives has the same security as RAID 5 with 10 drives. You still only have a single parity drive. I've, I, I think that the minimum recommend, I mean, recommendation-wise is to go with 4 drives minimum. Hmm. Hmm. And as far as parity goes, you've got the single, you can fail out one drive on the RAID 5. But I mean, we get into, you know, we we're not trying to learn everything about all the different raids, and we can talk about raid six. Um, but I, I still don't feel like raid five or any. I, I don't think any of the raids, other than possibly raid Z, which is not technically, you know, accepted as a raid. Uh, I don't know that they would work with the drives that we're trying to use here. Yeah. Gilgan Man mentioning that the parity is split across all the drives yeah. in a raid five. Hmm. If you know more about this and you'd like to uh, post in the chat room, feel free and uh, certainly drop me an email. I'm always, uh, you know, I'm here to learn as well. So uh, drop me an email live at category5.tv if you've got any comments or if you've got a suggestion that we haven't taken up yet. Uh, and certainly now what we're doing with the poll, because I want this to be very interactive with the viewers, is uh, I'm opening up that poll to everybody and we're resetting it after tonight. So tonight, of course, the options are going to change. We mentioned Solaris, for example, that wasn't mm -hmm. mentioned last week, so that's going to become one of the options that you can vote for. Mm -hmm. uh, so do watch the, uh, watch the poll as well, uh, and after tonight you'll be able to vote for the new poll. Mm -hmm. We'd be happy to hear what you have to say.